sold out Motor Point Arena. You can feel the hair on your neck standing up, the excitement palpable. The Sheffield Steelers trying to complete a treble. The treble winners from last year, the Belfast Giants looking to defend their playoff title. Spears puts on the afterburners. Trying to go coast to coast now, Spears. Throws on the brakes, try to send it into the middle. Oh, boy, that's a bad hit there. That's a bad hit. Prince came in on Watling. He saw the numbers, and Watling, Watling is slow to get up. Let's have a look here. Does he see the numbers sometimes? Well, he reaches in. That's, that's not a good hit by Prince, and hopefully, well, Watling is still getting looked at. Yeah, I don't think he hit him straight in the back. He caught him slightly from the side. I mean, I don't think he'd get thrown out of the game for this, but he definitely could get a, definitely would get a two-minute penalty, possibly, uh, possibly a little bit more, but we'll see. Balmas versus Lake. Balmas wins it. Here's Cormier. Back to Balmas. Cormier. Rish up by Cormier. Got the blocker across. Jackson whistle. Curdy trying to lift the stick with Balmas to Cormier. Balmas to the top of the circle. Smartly back to Cormier. Over to Brandon Whistle. Whistle with a shot, and there's Champini's goal. Power play goal. Champini, one nothing Steelers. Well, it was really good puck movement from the Steelers, and Champini just waits to the side of the net. And how many times do you see it when a shot comes from the right side, and a player just sits on the left side of the net and waits to see where that puck comes out? Comes right to Champini. Shows some composure in good hands. The side of the net just to stuff it in the back of the net. Some traffic in front also. And because it's a major penalty, the power play rolls on. You can score as many as you want in that, or many as you can in that five minutes. So it's such a disadvantage to the Belfast Giants right now. It's such a big, big advantage for the, the Cup and League champions. Usula goes to the front of goal. Here's Saucerman. Balmas. To the dot, Balmas with the shot, blockered away by Whistle, and that's an important save by Whistle. You gotta shake off that goal, and now you've gotta just stare down the offerings from Saucerman and company. Balmas to the top of the circle, drag, shoots, big save by Whistle, it's right there, Usula scored! The rebound was there for Usula, he tucks it home, two not to Sheffield. Well, it might be a, could be a review on this play because I thought someone pushed the puck with the glove. But Usla finishes the playoff there, gets good positioning in front of the net, and is able to tuck that away. But like to have seen a little bit what happened before. I thought there was maybe a, a push on the puck from one of the uh, Steelers in front of the net with the hand. But we'll have a look at it here. Shot comes in, good patience from Bolmas. Right there, the puck gets pushed ahead, but. Uh, I don't know if they might look at this one. There's a big discussion going on between the linesmen and the referees. I think the Giants would like to have, have a look at it. There's the shot there. Usula right there. He pushes it with his hand. Don't believe they've had, uh, allowed a goal yet on their penalty kill. Ten seconds remaining in the period. Here's a chance scoring. Spears! Seven seconds remaining. Spears roofs it. 2-1 hockey game. Yeah, it's just a great shot from Spears and uh, picks the corner blocker side on Greenfield's a great quick pass across the ice. They move the puck up quickly. And uh, Spears buries that. That's a fantastic goal from him. And this is what the Giants needed. They needed a nice pass across from McIntyre. Just picks the top corner. Face-off win by the Giants. Turning and firing was Cooper. Sent it wide. Cormier. Roach keeps it in. Tedesco plays it in deep. 105 remaining. Here's a chance sent up and down by Tansy. Well, that'll do it. Tansy into the empty net. That'll do it. The treble is coming to Sheffield. Tansy sent it up and down. He thought it had legs. He thought it was accurate, and it was right in the middle of the goal. That's 3 1 Sheffield. Well, that was an incredible shot because he lofted it over everybody to get it all the way down the ice. Steelers fans are going crazy here, Murph. Listen to the decibel level. That's a, well, Tansy, as the old football saying, hit and hope. Eight seconds remaining. Here's Roach. Five seconds remaining. We'll let the crowd take you home, folks.
win today and walk together forever, skate together forever. The treble is completed by the Sheffield Steelers. It takes a lot to accomplish this. You have to have everyone dialed in and on the same page, and they are. And this, this is the moment, isn't it? Tony Smith will present the trophy to Robert Dowd. Raise it high, Dowdy. A season for the ages. The Sheffield Steelers complete the treble cup league and playoff champions 2024. Yeah, a special moment for all these players. And uh, it's one of the greatest moments, isn't it, when you lift that trophy and the uh, champagne is flying. Yeah, a real special moment for all the guys.